Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jessica if you are. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I'm finally getting around to sitting down to film my Pan Those Eyeshadows introduction for 2024. I really have been lagging. This beginning of 2024 has just been really busy and I've had a lot of other things on my to-do list and filming videos sometimes falls a little bit lower down on my priority list. So my apologies for this introduction being a little bit late, but I think I'm just going to go with it and keep with this timing for my Pan Those Eyeshadows videos for 2024. It's just too much to film all of my updates around the first of the month. I have my Project Pan, my Pan That Palette series. Those are always at the beginning of the month. So just to try and help myself out, I'm going to space out my updates a little bit throughout the month. Maybe do my Pan Those Eyeshadows about mid-month. I'm going to aim for about the 12th to the 15th of the month. And of course my deck of panning, which I'll be filming the intro for right after this one, will go up around the 20th of each month. It's January 20th today. And even though I'm a few days behind of where I would like to have these updates, I figured it's better late than never. I almost decided to skip the month of January entirely, but I didn't want to do that to myself or to you. I want to get this project started and see what progress I can make during this year. This has been my longest running project pan that I've done since I've started my channel. This will not be my fourth year of doing pan and those eyeshadows and it's kind of what got me started with YouTube. I just loved watching the videos so much and I was inspired to try and get use on my own eyeshadow collection using this fun project. And it really does help me to push my creativity, come up with looks that I necessarily wouldn't have otherwise. And even though I've had a nice little break, I'm excited to get right back into it for this new year. I'm pretty sure that if you're here, you know that this project was created by a YouTuber named Alexi many, many years ago. And it's really taken off from there. And everyone who does it kind of has their own little way of doing it, kind of make it their own. And I have my own little set of rules that I like to do. So for my project, I like to try and have a goal, of course, of hitting pan ultimately on these eyeshadows. That's always my number one goal. But if I am using these eyeshadows at least 30 times and over the course of three months, and I still have not hit that pan, then I do give myself permission to roll that eyeshadow out. Sometimes I'll keep it in if I think I'm really close, but most of the time I pretty much had it by that point and I'm ready to start something new. I'm going to make some new changes to my project this year. I was always focusing on five eyeshadows in the past, but I'm going to cut back just a little bit and focus on four this year in this project. I think that'll just help me out a little bit to focus on other things that I'm working on like my Pan That palette or anything that might come into other projects like Deck of Panning. And I've always just used the Tiny Decisions app to randomly generate palettes and then shades for this project, but I wanted to make it a little more interesting for myself this year, just kind of add a little bit of variety into my project. And I decided that I'm also going to utilize the prompts that Lainey from Makeup with Lainey uses in her videos and other panning people have also utilized these prompts in the past couple of years. So I wanted to try it out this year, but I'm not going to entirely use those prompts. I'm going to split it up 50-50. So for two of my eyeshadows, I'm going to randomly draw them from a makeup collection. And then the other two, I will use the makeup with Lainey prompts to help me kind of pick and choose the shadow that I might want to bring into the project. And I think that'll help me just to make more cohesive color stories, choose shadows that are more fitting for that time of year, help me pull in palettes that I haven't gotten to use in past years during this project and also we'll still keep that random element in it of just you know not knowing at all what I'm gonna get so I think it'll be fun to mix it up with that and I hope you all enjoy it my main tracking for this project is my pan percentage that's how I kind of track my progress throughout the year and see how I am doing last year I was able to make huge strides in my pan percentage I started last year with 466 eyeshadow shades of those 466 in January of last year, I had pan on 12.02% of them. And then I finished the year at the end of December with 22.96% of pan in my eyeshadow collection, which I was very, very happy with. Almost 23%, very close to 25%. And my numbers have changed at the beginning of this year because things have been decluttered. I got rid of my pan those palettes from last year. And then things also just got tossed. But I never changed my original number of 466. I just like to compare my numbers of where I I started with the year and where I end with the year and if I declutter any along the way I don't reflect that in my pain percentage I just like to do a yearly refresh so for this year I'm starting out with 435 eyeshadows in my collection so my numbers did go down just a couple from removing those palettes and of those 435 eyeshadows I have pan right now on 68 of them so my current pan percentage is 15.63 percent and I'm curious to see where I'll be able to get throughout this year I update all of my eyeshadow pans in this panels eyeshadows video so if I'm hitting pan in my project level up or my deck 
like a panning or my pan that palette all of those numbers will be reflected and updated here in my pandas eyeshadows videos i also love to share my makeup looks from the past month in these videos so i might share a couple with you today i haven't decided but that is always a part of these videos that i love kind of sharing with you how i'm able to use these eyeshadows fun and creative ways i've thought of using them some of my favorite looks my least favorite looks sharing with you how i like to wear the eyeshadow and how it performs in different looks so i think that's all of like the housekeeping information i need to share with you this is going to be a pretty short introduction since all i have to do is roll in my four new eyeshadows i'm completely starting fresh oh i do have some bonus pans that i can share with you in this video just for fun just to like not totally skimp you on any pans for this video since i left off with you mid-december i have hit four new pans in my makeup collection so those are reflected in my current number and one of those pans was from a previous panda's eyeshadow shade so i'll share that pan with you but the other pans you're gonna have to wait and see sorry but i guess you'll just have to stay tuned for my future videos so make sure you're subscribed for those so i think that's everything i wanted to share with you so now i am ready to bring in my new eyeshadow shades for this first video of 2024 so i'm gonna draw my randomly generated shades first and then i can kind of pick and choose my shades based on what those first two random shades are so i have all of my eyeshadow palettes in this little wheel here on the tiny decisions app i am going to black out just one of the palettes the abh jackie Ina palette because that's currently in my project level up which i will be updating very very soon it's really just taking me a lot of time to get through level four so stay tuned that one is coming soon i just have been putting it off because i want to hit that level before i update anyways if you even remembered i was doing that project I am. So, so you'll be seeing that video very soon, hopefully. So I have everything else in here. That means there's 29 options in here, including my potted singles, as well as all of the singles in my Z palette. So I'm going to go one palette at a time and let's see what that first palette is. It's coming in here. I also put in here that I won't be having repeats during this year. So hopefully that'll help me get some more variety. Okay. And we have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. One of my favorites in my collection. Not the best for the winter time but I think there will be some fun shades in there that I would be excited to get. Here is that palette. I just love the Huda Beauty palettes. This one is one of my favorites in my collection and I haven't gotten a ton of use on it, so I'm happy that this came in. Here's what this palette is looking like right now and I have two pans in here already. One in, I believe this is Cosmic that came in my Panos eyeshadows last year and then also this one in Ultraviolet, which I believe I hit pan on in a deck of panning prompt. I believe that was the one that Danny selected, my husband, for me to work on in that project. So good memories with this palette. That means I have 16 shades in here that are eligible to be rolled in. And I do want to say that if I roll in anything that is too similar to a shade in my pan that palette for the year, I will allow myself to re-roll. Currently I'm working on the BH Cosmetics Shan XO The Remix palette and it has a lot of neutral and pink tones. So that definitely is possible that that could happen. Let's just go ahead and see. So there's 16 eligible shades. I'm gonna put in the numbers one through 16. Got the numbers one through 16 right up there and let's get a number generated. Sorry for the glare. Number 13, oh, lucky number 13. I don't know what that's gonna be, let's see. Okay, so we're skipping over the ones that already have pan. So that one, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Supernova. All right, that's actually a perfect shade to roll in. I love wearing pink tones in the winter time, and I don't have a shimmery, bright pink like this in my Pan That palette. And this is actually one of my favorite shades in the palette. It is gorgeous, super foiled and metallic. I already have a nice little dip going on that one. And this actually will pair very nicely with my Pan That palette shades. So there is Supernova. Oh my gosh, it even has like a little subtle shift to it. It looks beautiful on the eye from what I can remember. I've worn it quite a few times and you can kind of see it has a nice little disturbance going on in the surface of that pan. So that should not be too hard for me to hit pan on. I think I hit pan in ultraviolet and maybe like 15 to 20 uses. So hopefully that one will not be too difficult for me to work on. And I'm excited for that color. I think it'll be really, really pretty to wear, especially during this time of year. Love those tones. Okay, we're doing good so far. So let's see what the next palette will be oh my goodness the ColourPop rumor has it palette which i believe is a blue palette yes we're starting the year strong more blues as you guys know i can't get away from blues 
it is a thing. I don't even have that many blues in my collection, but they love coming into this project. And here is the ColourPop Rumor Has It palette. This is a great little quintet from ColourPop. I really, really like the formula that came out in this type of packaging. And I have this palette, and I also have the green version of this palette, which they call High Society. But these have like funny names. I'm pretty sure the names on the back... No, these ones do match. My other palette, the names right here don't match the names on the back, but um, I don't have that issue here, so I don't know why I'm even talking about it. I just thought that it would be the same case. So I already have a pan here on this middle shade. That is page six, and that was in my pan those eyeshadows, I believe, two years ago, I want to say. So that means I have four shades in here that are eligible to be rolled in, and I wouldn't be mad about any of them. Maybe like on paper, it would probably be the most difficult one because it's so bright and neon, but I would love to work on especially like Got A Text. I think that's such a pretty like bluish purple. Confession wouldn't be too hard. This may be not the best for this time of year, but we'll just see. That's part of the fun of this project is the randomization of it. Blues is not the worst color to wear in January, February, so maybe I'll have like some fun wintry looks to create with that one. Although I tend to prefer to wear blues in the summertime personally. So let's see what one through four gets us. I have one through four up there and let's see which one it wants to give us. Oh goodness, oh goodness. I'm nervous. Number one. Okay, that's the one I didn't want. That's okay. I think it'll be pretty easy to hit pan on that one. This is Do Tell. It's a very pale, light, shimmery blue. It has like a very subtle shimmer to it. You can see that Hopefully, if you look closely, there's like a fleur-de-lis embossing there that is already starting to be worn away. So I have reached for this shade a couple times, but we have quite a road to go on it. But the pans in here are quite shallow from what I remember, so it shouldn't be too, too hard. And there we have Do Tell in the swatch, and you can see it has like a very, very slight shimmer to it. Very subtle, mostly a matte shade when it ends up on the eye. Uh, not the best to pair with pink, but I think I can get creative with that one. And maybe have a fun colorful look to share with you during this month. So that shade two, uh, we already have our work cut out for us here with those two shades. So now I kind of get to ease back a little bit. I'm going to use the Makeup with Laney prompts and see if I can select some shades that will complement these two and be fun to work on. Okay, so I have all of Makeup with Laney's prompts in this wheel here. There are a hundred prompts to choose from. Some of them are repeats, just like kind of more general prompts, and then others are more specific. I decided to keep all the repeat prompts in there just to keep it as Laney originally intended, and I'm excited to play in this new and different way. So let's see what that first prompt is that we got up. And I have a few palettes that I'm hoping I can grab a shade from using these prompts. These are all palettes that don't have any pans in them at all, and I would love to have at least one pan in every single one of my palettes by the end of the year so hopefully I'm able to incorporate one of those palettes using these prompts so let's see what that first one is I'm not used to having this freedom with Panna, I, Panna's eyeshadow so I'm excited shadow that starts with J J like Jessica so that's the first one and let's just see what the next one is as well something you don't want to pan well thanks Lainey Okay, so I'm going to think about those two. I'm going to rifle through my collection and see what I can come up with. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I must admit that it was fun to be able to go through my collection and see what my options were and choose the best color for my color story and for what I was feeling for this time of year. So for the first prompt that I selected, an eyeshadow that starts with a J, I only had like five or six options in my whole collection, but I decided to go with a palette that we've just seen recently, but it was my favorite J option that I had to choose from and it comes from my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette and I decided to reach for the pink iridescent shade in here called Joy. Here is Joy in the watch and you can see it is quite significantly lighter than the other shade we brought in. What is this one called again? Supernova I want to say. I'm totally guessing but I think that these two will complement each other very well. This shade as well is very metallic, very foiled, beautiful on the eye and again I just love wearing these tones during this time of year and it'll be really easy to pair it with Supernova and other shades in my Pan That palette. So here is my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette today and the shade that I'm focusing on is right here. Again that one is Joy. It does have a slight little dip in there it's one of my favorites to reach for in this palette so far. I just love this palette overall. But I also can update you right now on Cherished. 
Many of you might recall that this was in my pan those eyeshadows at the very end of last year and I used it so many times before I was able to hit pan on it. I rolled it out at the end of December without a pan, but I was hoping to hit pan on it by just continuing to use it naturally throughout the remainder of the month and I'm happy to say that I finally did. So here is what Cherished is looking like today. It has just that little tiny baby pan on it. So just for the heck of it, just to kind of give an update feel, I'll go ahead and show you the progress from this shade over the past several months. So here's what Cherished was looking like when I first rolled it into the project. That was back in September of last year. I reached for it 13 times in the first month. It was looking like this after those 13 uses. I then reached for it an additional 22 times in the next month, making for 35 uses total. Here's what it was looking like then. And it still didn't have a pan. I reached for it 19 more times, making for 54 uses total. And here's what it was looking like at the end of this project of last year. And I still didn't have a pan on it. And then I reached for it seven more times to then finally hit that pan so it took me 61 uses to hit pan on this shade and obviously that tells you these mattes are no joke but I'm so happy that I was finally able to get a pan in this palette my first pan of the whole thing and now I can just be happy that this one has a pan in it and maybe it'll have two pans in it very soon. So that is the first shade, Joy, right there. And now for the next shade, I'm definitely challenging myself with this one. The prompt was something that I don't want to pan, but I decided to reach for something that I don't want to pan within a palette that I do want to pan. So this is my Natasha Denona My Dream palette. And I just got this palette. Well, it's newer in my collection. It's about a year old, but that's new for me. I got it around last Christmas, 2022, and I have barely gotten any use on it in the last previous year so I'm really happy that I get to bring this one in and I'm going to hit a pan on this palette in this project that is the goal and as much as I love this palette and there's so many shades in here that I would just adore reaching for and loving to pan I have to reach for something that I don't want to pan so that's going to be the black shade in here so I'm going to try and hit pan on black as black I'll be able to reach for it on a almost daily basis to use as a eyeliner but it's just not the most fun shade to pan. So even though it's not gonna be the most difficult, it's not necessarily something that I want to do, but it will still give me a pan in this palette and will allow me to reach for other shades in this palette, give it some attention, give it some love, what I've been dying to do for over a year now. Black is Black has barely a dip in it, probably not much at all as of now. Here's what it's looking like in the swatch. You can see it is a very, very deep black. And now you can see my entire color story for the month of January not the most cohesive color story but i'm totally actually okay with that because i was able to choose some of these shades and i'm going to be able to have fun with them and be creative with them so it will be a little bit of a challenge but that is part of what i enjoy so much about this project so that is my introduction for pan those eyeshadows for 2024 i'm really excited to see what i can do with this project over the course of the year and continue to have fun with eyeshadows with all of you in this painting community makeup community and beyond Thank you so much for visiting my channel today, watching this video. If you are here still, don't forget to leave this video a quick thumbs up before you leave. Leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you so much and I'm excited to see what I can create with these shadows. Share with that for you for the next update. So definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are in the world and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.